When a little girl got on a roller coaster at Six Flags Magic Mountain, she thought it was going <laughs> to be really exciting. But instead, she was terrified when she got slammed in the face by another rider's cell phone. She wasn't seriously injured, but her family feels a lot can be learned from this incident. KKL 9's Nicole Comstock joins us now live with the story. Nicole. The family says the way they were treated by that other rider and by the same park after this little girl was hurt was very disheartening. A ride on a roller coaster turned into a traumatic experience for an eight year old girl from Riverside. It was like, oh no, did my eye pop out? Oh no, did I get hurt? Where did I get hurt? Evie says she felt something hit her face while she was riding the Twisted Colossus at Six Flags Magic Mountain in Valencia. That object turned out to be a cell phone that fell out of another rider's hand, and the impact left a gash on her forehead that required 10 stitches to close. We understand the accidents happen and like obviously it wasn't something that he intentionally did. He didn't try to hit her, but if when you're responsible for causing injury to someone, you know, I mean, basic human decency, say sorry or come up and make sure that they're OK. They say the man in his 30s who was holding his phone out during the ride when loose items are prohibited instead told Evie and her family to stop making such a big deal about it. It made me feel angry and more sad because of I would just like an apology. Six Flags responded in writing, saying our ride safety policy strictly prohibits all loose articles on rides. Safety is a partnership between our guests and the park, and guests must follow all written and verbal instructions for safe riding. Our park safety team has already responded to the guest request for information, but that's not what Evie's mom, Della, says. So we don't know if they did kick him out of the park or anything. They just said that they can't give us any information on that, even if they found him. She says the park did little to help, and they want other families to be aware of what can happen when safety rules are not followed on roller coasters. They might not think about how, how that could hurt someone. Their phone could just fly like this way and then hurt the person yeah. next to it. <laughs> And Evie's family says they also called the police to try to file a report, but were told that no crime had been committed. Reporting live tonight, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.